Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WBLS and BronxNet. Our next guest is the Director of Communications for Round 7 Media and the Communications Manager for the Bronx Night Market. She's here to highlight the many events that the Bronx Night Market is promoting throughout the summer. So please welcome to the show, Beatrice Torres Martinez. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so, for having me, Dr. Lee. Beatrice, now, you, the last time we spoke, we were talking about some sort of food competition. Tell us about that. How did that work out? Well, it was amazing. We had our first Dishing It Out Bronx Style in collaboration with Bronx Eats on June 19th. It was great. The same day we have this um, Juneteenth celebration. We brought Mauricenia Band. The people were like feeling the festivities and this recently announced feather that like, it's going to be like a federal holiday. For yeah. yeah, I passed think it's by amazing. The House, passed by the Senate, signed by Biden. It's a federal holiday. Yes. Officially, Juneteenth. it was a federal holiday when we did the party, the festival. So everybody was in the mood. It was great. We still like thanking and very grateful for Bronx community to support us every weekend at Forum Plaza. And um, and yeah, like um, every weekend, we're still having like a lot of giveaways, new performances, new food vendors. Every weekend is a new event. So tell us about the food vendors that are there at the Bronx uh, night market. I mean, it's been very successful thus far, right? Yes, and um, now that officially all the COVID restrictions have been lifted, so welcome back to New York. Um, now we have more food vendors. The plaza is filled up with merch, art and craft, new, uh, yep. Now bring your mask. Can, bring now your mask. you cannot, you Just don't case, have to bring your mask. Take a breather, go like this. Like <laughs> yeah. Now it's all gone. We're happy that we we definitely can move forward to bring in like new events to the community. And actually, we launched in um June 26th, we launched Ford and Fleet. It's a new event coming every Sunday to starting July 11th to Forum Plaza. So yeah. right now, thanks to the support of the community, we have decided that every Sunday and every Saturday from um, July 11th is gonna be a party in the plaza. Woo, party in the plaza, party over here, party right there. <laughs> Throw your hands in the air. <laughs> well, wait a Bring minute, it on. how is it? How is it di different this year from last year? Well, you know, I think the main topic is COVID. That's the difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So right now, um, what we want is to bring again normalcy. And um, after more than a year of restrictions in every single aspect of our lives, um, right now we feel like is the time to bring it on and especially to our community, the Bronx needed so much. And especially because, you know, Forum Flea is dedicated mostly to micro businesses and people that they already lost their job throughout the pandemic. And they created yeah. this, you know, arts and craft and Etsy pages and, you know, Shopify and online, that they need this kind of opportunities to bring it on and showcase what they do. And we're here to support the community and give it the space to do business and commerce. And so from now through July, you said there's ent entertainment along with the food and everything that's going on? Yes, um, Bronx Night Market every Saturday has live performances, DJs have um, new partners. We bring in um, Coca-Cola, we bring in Samuel Adams, um, Angry Orchard, Truly, which is our official hard seltzer, and other partners to bring every Saturday like a full-on party to Forum Plaza. Sundays, yeah. in the other hand, is more focused on merchandise and art and craft and, and kind of like lifestyle. And you have things uh, according to different cultures. You have the, the, the salsa, the merengue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
we have brought um, Latin um, artists. We have brought African American for Juneteenth band, which was amazing. They did a um, um, cover of Aretha Franklin, the most amazing singer in the world. And um, we brought, we make sure that due to the diversity of our community, we make sure that everybody can take something out of our events. Because yeah. we are a global celebration of culture, community, and cuisine. And it's open from what time to what time? Well, it's open from noon to 7 p.m. And it's from uh, July 11, Saturdays and Sundays. Please join us to Forum Plaza. And if you want more information, follow us on Instagram and on our website, bronxnightmarket.com. And please join us. All right. Now, if I come down, we, we, we can, I love to eat. And so does Stephen and Yasmin. So if we come down, where can we, uh, what's the best place? Which one of your favorites? Ooh, sometimes, <laughs> um, sometimes from time to time, we bring Kat's Deli from the city to uh -huh. visit us to the, to the Bronx. But my favorite, I'll say for me is Arepa Baby, which is um, Arepa's, uh, Venezuelan Arepa's filled up with, with a lot of, meat and avocado and a specialty that they do have and uh -huh. also i'll say like my guilty pleasure yeah <laughs> fried ice cream <laughs> fried ice cream all right <laughs> that's my guilty pleasure it's so delicious you gotta come and try it okay all right <laughs> that sounds good all right so we're open from uh open on the weekends yep from 12 noon to 7 p.m yes and they can go to what website again bronxnightmarket.com or flea market um, forum flea market at dot com check out the bronx night market beatrice torres martinez thank you so much we appreciate you thank you for having me all right and come back again okay i know you of got the food <laughs> <laughs> you got the food competition so we want to see if we can uh, go down and Check that out too. And I talk about food all the time. Don't think that I'm this guy that likes to just eat and eat and eat and eat. But I do love to eat, but you know. I love to eat and I think that <laughs> I found my passion here. Like definitely I'm from Spain, originally from Spain and I'm not used to have all this diversity in food. So the market definitely helped me to open my, my brain and taste <laughs> to new flavors. I love it. Thank you so much, Beatrice from the night market, the Bronx night market. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, stay tuned. Guess what? Bobby C is here. He has the latest in the world of sports. Next.